we shall now learn web api with mvc basically what are web api traditionally we know that websites are used to return html for consumption by web browsers but it is also possible to directly return data data means objects so for example i have an object called c student data its object is there instead of couching it inside html i can directly spit the object in xml format or json format for consumption by different clients it could be consumed by a web browser by reading or interpreting the json that is coming from the client it could be consumed also directly by a desktop application so sending data directly from a function and informing others about the existence existence of that function this sum total is called web api apis means functions that are available for use of others so that they can call those functions and get data just like we write int sum int i int j this is some a function that returns an int by adding i and j to the outside world sum is an api the outside world just have to worry about the nature of arguments that it will have to pass and the return directly in this case this api returns a number if this api is hosted over internet then it becomes a web api web services are examples of web api so you can very easily implement your web services through the web api concept of mvc and we are now right now demonstrating how we can use mvc framework that we have learned in this series to implement functions on the internet so that the data can be called either through the xml format or through json format for consumption directly by the clients in the example i've written i wrote int sum something this is returning an object of type int instead of returning an html similarly if you have a c student data object then this object can be directly piped to the client and consumed there this is definitely more efficient because devices can communicate directly for within the uh, with the data this is a customer having a mobile device he needs to know the current weather information so he can query a web server pass suitable parameters and get just the required information four or five fields packed in a data packed in an object now today we shall demonstrate creating a web api project and returning a single c student data object and also returning a list of c student data objects so that collections are also returnable and at the same time displaying them in an html page we can optionally send we'll also show how to optionally send the data in json format and how in xml format so you can take it to be a sort of a web service that will help your clients and also help you because your server has to send little code little little data just the required data so okay we'll start by creating an asp.net web application i have called it web api project 
and I'll click OK. It is often better to use the built-in templates and Web API is already an available template. We can click OK. So after a long time it will create a file values controller and lot much of uh, functions available there. We'll do one thing, we'll begin to learn the fundamentals so we'll remove both the files. I'm removing all the files. Images you can or cannot keep. Let's remove all the unnecessary junk here. Remove the home also and this is what we are left with the bare bone application. I have removed those things so that we have an opportunity to learn the basics. Ok. Uh, this is the app start file and here you will find one of the files to be web api config. Now this is registered the root for the web api config is registered under api by controller by id. API is the name that has to be typed in the browser. Suppose I have a home controller. How will I call the web API? I will have to write in the web browser http hoven.in then this one API the name of the controller I will call it home by 60. So this will pass 60 as a parameter to my home controller. Now you must have seen one thing that action is missing here action has not been specified here. This is really optional. You could have specified action also. Nobody stops from doing you from doing that. You could have written API by controller by action. But in this particular example action has been taken out and I find that it is an opportunity for uh, telling you how these controllers and actions are automatically read by the MVC framework. And I'll demonstrate how different actions can be called even when nothing has been specified here. I'll give you examples of at least two actions which can be called without specifying anything in this template. This is basically the root config as usual. So this is already done for us. Now let us add a controller to the whole story. We don't have to add any views and all because uh, we'll hardly pass through the views story. And if you want, we can totally remove the views folder out from here. So only is controllers, models, scripts, if required, otherwise plug it off. So basically we are left with global.asx file that takes us through the web API uh, through the routing uh, functions then content content is hardly required take it off areas take it off we won't need it here so this is the small website that is left for us let us quickly add a model here add class c student data so this is the class that we have completed it consists of an id marks in maths physics chemistry now we'll proceed to add a controller here controllers right click add controller I'll call it the home controller now this class is actually inheriting from the controller parent class 
वेर एज वी शुड नाउ इनहेरिट इट फ्रॉम द ए पी आई कंट्रोलर क्लास रादर सो दैट वी आर एबल टू नॉट बी वरिड बाय दिस स्टोरी दैट इज एक्चुअली एडिड बाय डिफॉल्ट वी आर इंप्लीमेंटिंग द वेब ए पी आईज सो वील कम फ्रॉम द ए पी आई कंट्रोलर रादर रिजॉल्व सिस्टम डॉट वेब डॉट एच टी टी पी सो दिस इज द ए पी आई कंट्रोलर टू बिगिन विद आई एड ए डेटा सोर्स प्राइवेट लिस्ट सी स्टूडेंट डेटा गेट डेटा आई हैव टू रिजॉल्व दिस ऑफ and now here i'll write for quickly getting a list of a few students okay i have quickly keyed down so i created an empty list then added one student id is one marks in chemistry marks in maths marks in physics and uh, i just uh, forgot changing this to two this to three okay so we have basically written a quick function for returning us a list of c student data objects now we'll begin to write the apis so that on demand we return one c student data or maybe all of them so now i'll write the function public i enumerable c student data get all students now i'll write return get data and uh, what i can do is i can put http get Uh, it's not resolving so i'll do one thing system dot web dot http dot http get now this is one api that i have written this is called get all students and it returns a collection of C student data objects. Let me run it. It gives me an error somewhere on script bundle. So remember, I was uh, haphazardly removing all the files, and most probably this bundle config. These are actually not there. They have been. I've removed all the scripts, so it is giving error. i can remove these files all together i am removing these lines all together so that they remain silent now i'll run my home controller so remember i have to uh, how i configured it it was api by controller by id so i'm not passing any id is optional so i'm not passing any id i'll simply write api by home run it i'll copy this i'll paste this into chrome because it gives better results okay the resource cannot be found of course it can't be found because we haven't uh, created it as a proper web application so the resource lies here by api by home because of that routing now i can run it and my data comes in the proper xml format one major question is how was it able to reach my action method for getting the list of all the students after all i have written only api by home i haven't specified anywhere in this list from where 
if I come and look back to my action method, the action method is get all students. How does request come here? Look, first of all, MBC checks up that the request is get type because I wrote get here. Then what was I typed in my address bar? I typed API by home. Home controller it matched. No doubt it reached this particular file or this class. Then no parameter was given. No param. So what it does it it tries to look in the list of all the actions which start with get. Spellings start with get and which take no arguments because nothing was specified in the address bar. So MBC is quite smart enough. The very first function is get all students. The spellings are get. They could have been equally get in caps also. The three words should match. It's get all students no args. And it hooks to this one that this is the one, it, one that should be used to send data. So this is something that you should be very much aware of that if you do not specify any action then it will automatically try to look for possible candidates. Another thing you might be like asking me now, what if there are two get method, the methods that start with get and the requests are also get and they don't take any parameters. In that case, an error will be thrown for ambiguity. So in that case you definitely have to ensure that your action method is also specified in the address bar and at the same time your web api config.cs file also has a mention of action here in the root template. Okay. Now I'll write one method that returns one single student. I'll do one thing, I'll copy it off, paste it off and this time I'll call get student by id and I write string id. Return get data is returning me the list dot first or default c student data x goes to x dot and I should change the return type to C student data. Now this time if you see I have this is again a get request I have started the function name by get and it takes an id parameter. Again, I, I simply need to write in the address bar API by home by uh, one and it will return me the C student data with ID of one. I am not going to specify anywhere the name of this function. It, this API will be automatically reduced by the MVC. Okay, let us verify this also. So if you check the address bar, it is API by home by one and it is returning me the data for a single student with ID of one. So actually what I've created is just now created is a web service that can be uh, called by properly writing the address bar. I haven't even specified the name of the functions. If I create more areas in this, 
then maybe I don't need to talk about functions at all. They can all be deduced from the parameters, their count and all that. Now another point of interest that remains is what if somebody wants the data to be in JSON? The data you are seeing is coming totally in XML format. To get the data in JSON format, I have to do modifications to this register file. I will do them just now. So this is my register file where I have registered the roots. And I am finding a suitable place here to start writing the code. So all I have to write is these three lines. One is JSON, JSON formatter object. Then JSON dot serializer settings dot preserve reference handling so it will do proper formatting for objects. Config dot formatters dot remove the XML formatter. So these three lines of code, they will ensure that I start getting my results in JSON format and if I want them in XML, I'll have to put a comment around them. Now let us run it and see it. I'll again as usual cut this one and bring up the Chrome, paste it there, API by home. So this time I've got the results in JSON totally. And similarly I can type the other one. This gives me a single object. Now the next question is how to display or how to call this API externally from an HTML file. For this I'll add an HTML file to this one. Add new item. So I'm directly picking HTML page that is appearing in my list. I'll call it index.html and click OK. This is the HTML page that I get and I'll now write, write code into this one that calls my web APIs. So I'll start writing the steps. This is the one link button which I'll click to get a list of all the students. I'll later write a JavaScript function on this page that will write get students, call me get students, HR and then dive ID is equal to res. In this dive the results will be shown. I am adding a reference to the Google API's jQuery and I will write my function get students so that when it is when this A is clicked this function is called and it launches an a JSON call to API by home and when it succeeds I get it in data so I am uh, completing the jQuery story dollar dot each will execute for each data item that is obtained from the server and for each object this key well function will be executed key and the corresponding value value will contain the object so for the first one id will be displayed and marks in maths and this will repeat for all of them and i'm just adding adding a list item to this res so that it will just uh, display it as a list. So what I've done is I've basically I've basically written a call to the API home and this story is for displaying the results. Now how this one works that is you can look up the internet for the functionality whereas there is a dive towards the bottom it will appear the results will appear in this div tag. Let us run it and let us see. 
so this is the button that I'll click and the moment I click it should display the results for all three objects object 1 ID 1 maths 3 ID 2 maths 23 so this is how you can call web APIs from a website or a web page of course uh, cross domain JSON issues need a separate treatment through JSON P if you want to host APIs on some other look uh, some other server and you want to call them from other IP address then cross domain JSON P issues you will have to check up they are absolutely not related not related to this topic uh, that's just for information I'm telling that those issues could be there but they do not have any relation with the web APIs web APIs are available they can be used to send JSON formatted string to the output so we'll close it right now we can revise Here we specified a root API by controller. We didn't specify the action. Then we came to the home controller. Quickly added C student objects and then just added two functions get all students and get student by ID. MVC was able to take a smart decision for by reaching the correct action method based on the parameters that are coming and this prefix called get then we demonstrated how we can call these functions from a web page through the JSON call and uh, we were able to get the JSON object so we'll close it right now thanks